Comcast Center and the University of Maryland. Sherwood against Glen Burnie, the last game on Thursday, the 4A final. The winner of this game takes on Magruder, who beat Eleanor Roosevelt 63-61 on a last second shot by Justin Taylor. Well, Steve, if this game here is anything like the one that preceded this, we're gonna have a great time here in these next 32 minutes of basketball. Will it be an all Montgomery County 4A final for the first time in history? We'll know 32 minutes from now. Sherwood wearing royal blue. Glenn Burney, the number one seed in the 4A, wearing white with red trim. So perhaps Sherwood can hang on to that margin that they've had from the opening tap off. The baskets you make is equal to the victory you take. Where did I get that from? I don't know. You've been reading too many books again. Probably well, something from John Wooden, I would guess. Actually, it was a play on words off of John Lennon. But then again, I know that there are a lot of people listening who don't know who John Lennon is. I certainly don't. Well, he was not the founder of the communist movement in Russia either. <laughs> And Sherwood did not have one single rebound in the third period. Glenn Burney. That last stat courtesy of my stat man, Brian Antler. Glenn Burney trailing by eight will inbound the ball right in front of us. Deshaun Antoine. As we head to the fourth and final period. Jarvis Pierce takes that inbounds pass, works it right side, Blackstone. Well, I'll tell you, Steve, this could be big for Glenn Burney if they could get a basket here to begin the fourth period. Deshaun Antoine working against Gilchrist, driving in the lane, puts up the shot, and he scores! Desha the gap is now down to six! Deshaun Antoine with the teardrop, and the Gophers are closer than they have been since the first period. A six-point deficit. Dominic Budd, left side, feeds it down low, down low to Malloy, and he travels. And the ball goes back over to Glenn Burney. Well, are... Kenny Malloy got the ball down low, but he didn't go up strong. And then when he finally did make up his mind to go, he traveled. Give Glenn Burney credit. They have worked very hard since the first period. They now trail by six. Three point shot up, short. Rebound goes to Glenn Burney, and now controlled by Sherwood. Coming out of the pile was Deontay Twyman. The alley-oop pass, and a miss by C.J. Good. Glenn Burney right back, working in the lane. And now a dump off to Bader, the shot up, off his mark, rebound, Sherwood. And tied up. Possession arrow is favoring the Warriors. C.J. Good and Jarvis Pierce Battled for that ball. The referees called for a jump ball and Sherwood will inbound. Well, the Warriors had some bad luck and some good luck on that last sequence as they had really an open layup off the alley oak, couldn't convert. And they were lucky at the other end when Glenn Burney was not able to convert. And the Warriors once again have possession in the six point lead. Twyman up top with Pierce, but on the right wing. Defended by Antoine. And now Twyman on the left wing. Dominic Budd. Glenn Burney stepping up on defense. Budd driving, unloads the Twyman. Twyman 15 points into the paint, puts up a shot, he scores. Pump fake. No one came up with him and he shot the ball and scored. Eight point lead for the Warriors. Twyman is so difficult to defend when he gets into the paint. He has such great leaping ability. He has an explosive first step. And Glenn Burney's had difficult with that all night. Blackstone trying to drive baseline and he travels. And just when Glenn Burney looked like they were making a move, they have a couple of possessions where they're not able to convert. And now Sherwood has the eight point lead and the possession. Inbounding will be Twyman with his partner Dominic Budd. Two members from that Sherwood football team that made it to the state championship, losing to Suitland 
and overtime. Twyman wants a state championship to add to his resume to close his career as a Sherwood Warrior. But driving and now coming back, left side to Twyman on the wing. Twyman fakes, drives to the paint, puts up a shot and scores! Twyman takes control of the game again. As I said a moment ago, when he gets into the paint, he's so difficult to defend, and now it's a 10-point lead once again for the Warriors. Just as it appeared Glenn Burney was threatening, Twyman has taken the game over. Glenn Burney loses the ball out of bounds. And Coach Mike Rudd calls a 30-second timeout for the Gophers. Deontay Twyman stands 5 foot 11, but jumps and leaps like he's seven foot tall. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, to his teammates, his coach, and the Sherwood contingent, he plays like a seven footer. 19 points for Twyman, just two fouls. Can you imagine what kind of a game it will be if Sherwood and Magruder go against each other? Well, I'll tell you, the buzz in the two neighboring communities will be unbelievable over the next 48 hours as both sides get ready for a championship game if in fact it is Sherwood and Magruder three. The upper areas, upper region of Montgomery County will be one huge pep rally for both schools. And I am sure Comcast Center will be almost a capacity for that well, game. I'll tell you, you know, we're gonna have to do a little research here because I don't know, Steve, if there have ever been two Montgomery County schools that have played for the 4A championship. Probably not. You've got to remember that Sherwood, along with Blake and Springbrook, went into the 4A North, which has set up this situation three years ago. And it's just one of those unusual anomalies that can happen from time to time. But I don't ever recall an all Montgomery 4A final. Okay, Sherwood will inbound. Now the press is coming from Glenn Burney. The first time they've done this in the entire game. And there's Twyman on the breakaway. Twyman unloads the ball down to C.J. Good. He banks it in and he's fouled. A 12 point lead from the Warriors and perhaps more as Good goes to the line. And just like that, it looked like Glenn Burney had all the momentum. They cut the lead down to six, and now in an instant, Sherwood has pushed it back up to 12. Will that take the wind out of the Gopher sails? Stay tuned, we'll find out over the next 5.06. Good, shooting one for a three-point play. Shot is up. Shot is no good, but coming down with the rebound for Sherwood was Malloy. His shot was off its mark. We're at 49-37. Long pass down court to Antoine. Oh, Glenn wing. Burney's at the point in the game where they have to make every possession count here, Steve. Antoine commits the offensive foul, pushing Twyman out of the way. Well, there was just absolutely no place for him to go, and he was committed to continuing towards the hoop. And as a result, he got called for the player control foul. He probably could have had the foul called in his favor, but he shoved Twyman with his left elbow. Well, you know, that's an example of frustration that has been building with the Gophers over this game where they just simply fell behind early and they've just been claw trying to claw their way back for the balance of the game, but have only been able to get as close as six points. They may have exhausted all their energy in doing so. Sherwood with the ball, Holster the shot, way off its mark, rebound, controlled in the paint by Sherwood, and now a deflection by Blackstone, and down court he comes, losing the ball momentarily, spinning into the paint, and a foul by Holston. Interesting exchange there. Well, I was watching at the other end. Devon Baynard went down hard for the Gophers, and I wasn't sure whether he was hurt or not, but he's up. He walks slowly to the lane, and now his teammate, Garrett Blackstone, will go the line for two shots. Blackstone took the ball coast to coast, was spinning in the lane uncontrollably, and Holston committed a sloppy foul reaching in. Blackstone connects on the first free throw to pull the Gophers to within 11 at 49-38. Well, Glenn Burney has to seriously consider 
going into a press here now because they cannot allow Sherwood to simply play and set the tempo as they would like over these last 416. Glenn Burney, the number one seed in the 4-8. They average 72 points a game. They're way off that pace, scoring only 38 now with 4.13 to go in the game. Well, Weckby was in there hard for the rebound, grabbed it, put the shot up, didn't get it to drop, but he drew the foul. And now Glenn Burney's at the line for two more foul shots. Shooting is Antoine Weckby. He hits the first. The Sherwood lead is at 10. And now trying to get it back into single digits again is Wepke. The shot was off its mark, but it got the right English and rolled in. Well, on that sequence, Glenn Burney was able to cut the lead down from 12 to 9 with only three seconds running off the clock. 49-40. Twyman being defended up high near the midcourt line by Antoine, and now he unloads it to Bud. Over to Holston. Holston being defended by Rudd. Right side to Malloy. Twyman's working his way back around, now has the ball. Working against Antoine, feeds off to Malloy for a big bucket for the Warriors. 51-40, Sherwood on top, 335. Three-point shot, up, off the mark. Antoine misses, Twyman on the board. Coming down court, unloading it to Bud. They beat the press. Bud over to Holston. Holston pass into the lane, was knocked away, but Bud got it and up high to Twyman. To Twyman. 3.09 to go and there's a foul. Well, the last time down, once again, Twyman drove the lane, but this time he dished it off to Bo Holston and Holston was able to convert the bank shot and Sherwood's leads back up to 11. And the way this game's going, Steve, it just doesn't look like Glenn Burney's gonna be able to climb the mountain. Twyman inbound. Sloppy inbounds pass stolen. Here comes Glenn Burney in the lane. Careless shot is up. Blackstone has the ball knocked away. Sherwood controls it again. Every time Glenn Burney has a breakaway, they can't convert. Key sequence for the Warriors there, preventing Glenn Burney from scoring when it looked like they had a basket on the breakaway. Holson up top to Twyman, and it looks like the Warriors are gonna play a game of keep away. Well, as soon as I say that, Twyman oh. goes in the lane, has a shot rejected. There's a pass and a bucket. No. Glenn Burney had a three to one breakaway and could not score. They do get the foul, but that's just what's been happening to them this entire game. They had a three on one, and Devron Baynard, six foot seven Devron Baynard, had a close in shot, but couldn't get it to drop, but he'll go the line for two. He makes the first. They'll need his second shot to go in for the deficit to be at nine, do the Gophers. Glenn Burney now eight out of 12 from the line. The Warriors 11 of 15. Second shot up and good, 51-42. Sherwood leads by nine. 2.36 to go. Twyman inbound, the pressure coming from Glenn Burney again. A trap and the ball is deflected out of bounds by Rudd. Same set, inbound, pressure coming from Glenn Burney. Long pass down court. Now Sherwood has the breakaway, but Holston wisely, wisely pulls up and waits for the rest of his team to come yeah, down court. That was court. a good play by Holston. He had the opening, but and said, hey, we got the ball, we got the lead, the clock's on our side, let's burn some more time. Glenn Burney with only five team fouls could afford to give one here. Rudd and Twyman. Rudd, the coach, echoing to his team to please hurry up step it up, force the action, and, and Tyler Rudd reaches in and commits a foul. And that's a definite mismatch, having Tyler Rudd on Deontay Twyman. But that's the sixth team foul on the Gophers, and the Warriors will inbounds with 1.59 to go. 1.59 away 
from a 4A All Montgomery final. Bud to inbound, he finds Twyman. And Twyman being defended by Downs. There's a whistle, Downs reaches in. Well, you know, what I notice here, Steve, is that besides the fact that Twyman has such an explosive first step, he does a terrific job of lowering his shoulder and protecting the ball so that when he puts the ball on the floor, nobody's gonna get it. Players try to reach in, try for the steal, but they, but they foul him instead. Twyman connects on the first end of the one and one, and the lead's back up to 10. And basically Sherwood has answered every one of Glenn, Bar Glenn Burney's charges, and once again, they now lead in double digits. The second free throw is off its mark. Glenn Burney down. Downs driving in. Three-point shot on its way by Antoine. Off its mark. Rebound controlled by C.J. Good. He feeds it over to Twyman, who will now race down court with the ball. 137. Ball is kicked by Pierce as Twyman tries to pass it over to Bud. Well, the clock's running down on Glenn Burney, and with only 136 to go, the Warriors look like they're in great shape to head to the finals. And for Sherwood, C.J. Good with nine rebounds, he's played a key role on the boards for the Warriors. Bud inbounds to Twyman, and he is immediately fouled by Kareem Downs. And that'll be a one and one for Deontay Twyman. Twyman shooting 65% from the line. And Twyman's line on tonight, 20 points, six rebounds, six assists. And six of eight from the line, and now seven of nine. 53-42, Sherwood on top. The Warrior fans behind us are just waiting for the closing moments of this game so they can take on Magruder. Second shot up and good, 54-42. A 12-point lead for the Warriors, 133 to go in the game. Blackstone driving and unloading and losing the ball out of bounds as Bud kicks it. Glenn Burney to inbound, 126 to go. And Steve, it looks like once again, the Glenn Burney Gophers will meet their doom in the state semifinal for the third time in the last five years. There's an exchange of the pass. The ball and Downs is fouled by Bud. That is Sherwood's sixth team foul. Glenn Burney to inbound. Inbounding for Glenn Burney will be Deshaun Antoine. Inbounds pass goes to Pierce. Glenn Burney needs to do something quickly. Tyler Rudd, three-point shot up. Off its mark, rebound to Baynard. And he loses it out of bounds. And with 1.09 to go in this game, Sherwood will have the ball and a 12-point lead. Well, that last rebound off of Baynard's hands is almost symbolic of the way things have gone for the Gophers. The lead pass by Holston on the inbounds. And Holston goes up for the slam dunk, and the lead is at 14. One minute to go in the game. And Steve, what time is it? I don't know, Russ. What time is it? The refrigerator door is closed. The lights are out. The eggs are cooling. The butter's getting hard. And the jello's jiggling as the Warriors lead 56-42 with only 46 seconds remaining in this 4A semifinal. And, and as we turn around and look at the Warrior faithful, they are in celebration. As Joseph Holston put down that slam on that breakaway inbounds pass, the Warriors faithful, who has been sitting for most of the second half, stood up and went crazy and basically will pack their bags and come back on Saturday as the Warriors will take on Magruder in the state championship game of the 4A. Do you think there's gonna be a lot of text messaging going on between the Warriors and the Colonels between now and Saturday? Oh, you better believe it. The trash talking is starting already. The trash talking, the emails, the phone calls, the text messaging, it's gonna be wild. 
up in the Alney Durwood area. People will be driving up and down Route 108, hocking their horns in celebration. 26.2 seconds to go. Sherwood 56, Magruder, <laughs> I'm thinking ahead already. Glenn Birdie 42. <laughs> you better not let the Magruder fans hear that, Steve. <laughs> that, just to talk ahead, that'll be an interesting game. Magruder. So much at stake. The first time two Montgomery County teams fight for the state championship, and they happen to be the arch rival Magruder Colonels and the Sherwood Warriors. So all three Montgomery County teams that played today in the semifinal have advanced to the championship. BCC, victorious earlier in a 3A semifinal. They'll play River Hill for the 3A championship. And now it looks like Sherwood will take on Magruder for the 4A championship two days from today. Well, in that 3A final, Steve, BCC will be the prohibitive favorite over River Hill and then one of the Montgomery County 4A teams will win the title. So potential for two Montgomery County teams to win state championships for the 2007 season. And now Deontay Twyman has come out of the game with only 26 seconds remaining. And he had a terrific game, 22 points, six rebounds and seven assists. He's joined the bench by Dominic Budge, CJ Good, Kenny Malloy, and Joe Holston, the starters, Glenn Burney trying to rally and make the score respectable. With the ball is Shawan Young, lead pass down to Pat Donovan. He dishes it back. Glenn Burney, seven seconds. Rudd, three point shot up off its mark. Rebound goes to Glenn Burney, another shot up. It's good. And there's the horn. That's the end of the game. 